if you have, I'm trying to draw this from the end here, you've got, um, I don't know, something that can handle maybe ceramic, a ceramic pipe. It'd have to be really thick ceramic. And you get the thing spinning. Not spinning slow, spin fast. And you pour inside of this pipe molten iron. Hot stuff. Okay, I'm gonna use I'm gonna drop an orange because it's molten. Okay. So you pour this molten iron in here, and all that iron is gonna cling to the edges of this. Why is it gonna cling to the edges? Because of how it's spinning. Right? Yeah, you, you've done the fair rise before, yeah. right? Where you get in the, you lean up against the wall and they get you spinning and they <laughs> stuck to the wall. That's this, okay? All that molten iron is stuck to the wall. From the perspective of the iron, the molten iron, gravity is out. Same. And if you put a bubble in it, it's going to go in. Um. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> it's like the, the, the spinning prong we did in the example. Yes. I never been on. I never wanted to go on one of those because I always saw people getting. I, I guarantee you, if I went on one of those things, I would yak. I, you won't find me on one of those things. Well, I always see other kids in like in the, in like not going to preschool getting picked on them. That it's gone too fast and things. I was more interested in fighting over the swing. Oh, <laughs> it's a lot oh. safer. <laughs> oh, I'm talking to the ones about the uh, so that the merry-go-round and the playground. Yeah, I'll play on those. And but the. The, um, the, the ones at the fair, like at where, where there's like a big machine I and somebody's running it. One and a guy threw up, and I was like, I just don't want to accidentally get that on me. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So I never want to get it. Anyway, the equation here is centripetal force is equal to mv squared over r. In other words, <clears throat> oh, wait, let me try this again. Uh, centripetal force is equal to m omega squared times r. In other words, you remember that the, these are the same equations, right? Mm -hmm. As omega goes up, I mean, as r goes up, let me try it again, as you move away from the edge, the centripetal force goes up. Which is to say, as r goes down, Centripetal force goes down. So the centripetal force is least on the inner edge of the molten iron. So if you have to have a certain amount of centripetal force in order to get the bubbles out, you better have, have that least force on this inner edge. Everywhere else it'll be greater. Does that make sense? That's why you have to use the inner edge. Because okay. well, every, everywhere else will be there. That's like, which one do I? That's what, I never, I didn't get, I ran out of thread on that problem, but I was like, which one do I even use? It, uh, it says, and uh, says, what is the rate of rotation required? I think what also threw me off is it gave a 134G, and I didn't realize G was gravity. Yeah, so in other words, the acceleration, the centripetal acceleration, is 134 g's. 100, so the acceleration, so this part here, omega squared times r has to equal 134 times 9.81. That's what they mean by g for. When when you watch Top Gun or some airplane pilot movie and they say he was experiencing five g's. What that means is five times the acceleration rate of gravity. That's which, why it hurts. <laughs> yeah, this is, which is why it hurts. Can you imagine if you weighed five times what you weigh now, holding your own weight up, but five times your own weight? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Does that help with that question? It says um, the rotation rate required, and I ended up with a 500 number, but the actual number was 2,000. Okay. So let's, let's see if we can figure out. Suppose that the inner sleeve is this and the outer sleeve is that. Eliminate the bubbles, 134G. 
What is the rate of rotation? And they want the answer in revolutions per minute. So you would solve this for omega, given the r that they gave you, the inner radius, which is 2.45. So you'd say omega is equal to 134 times 9.81 divided by r, take square root, and your r for your number should be 2.45, uh, except that center is union meters. So this would be point oh two four five. Okay. And that would be that answer would be in radians per second. But you need revolutions per minute. Because that's what Web is 